As Florida voters begin to cast their ballots, the University of North Florida has released a detailed snapshot of every political race and issue in the state. It shows a sizable lead for former President Trump, but shows other Republicans like Senator Rick Scott are vulnerable. Also shows some interesting numbers on amendments three and four, which involve marijuana legalization and abortion rights. News for Jackson reporter Scott Johnson joining us now live in studio with insight on these new numbers just coming out today. Yeah, Kent, Joy, Trump and marijuana legalization are polling strongly in Florida, but Senator Rick Scott's race and the abortion issue were very tight, and it looks like those races will be close on election night. Let's start with the presidential race. The UNF poll shows Donald Trump leading Kamala Harris by 10 points, 53-43 among likely voters statewide. But the numbers aren't as strong for Senator Rick Scott, who's only leading his Democratic challenger, Debbie McCarcel Powell, by three points. So I asked the pollster, Dr. Michael Binder from UNF, why Trump polls better in Florida than Scott. What's the disconnect there? I mean, why does Trump poll better than Scott? Well, uh, Trump has polled better than Senate candidates across the country. You know, most of the battleground states where their Senate race is going on, Trump is up three, four points over all those Senate candidates. He pulls a different type of person. Then the other two big ballot issues receiving the most attention are Amendment 3 and 4. Now keep in mind these are to amend the Constitution, so they need 60% to pass, not just more than 50. Let's start with Amendment 3, the one that would legalize marijuana recreationally. It shows pretty strong support with 66% supporting to only 30% opposed. If it passes, it won't go into effect for a while, actually not until May of 2025. We've been polling at, on legalization of recreational marijuana for years now, and it's always been in the high 60s range, and it stayed there, uh, notwithstanding some of the more negative campaigns that have started to come out the last couple of weeks. Then there's Amendment 4, the constitutional amendment that would make abortion a right under the state constitution. This is razor thin. It shows 60% supporting and 32% opposed. Governor DeSantis immediately spoke out on that hours after the poll was released and asked voters to oppose it. Once it's in the Constitution, that's forever. You really have pretty much zero chance of ever changing it. And so you better know, go into this thing wide, eyes wide open, you got to know what exactly they're trying to do here to the state. Um, and if they don't convince you that this is something that'll be good, uh, you should vote no regardless right at that point. One interesting note on the presidential race. So if you look at it compared to 2020 and who people supported, it was almost a tie, 43 for Biden, 44 for Trump, though Trump had actually won the state by about three percentage points. Binner points out those numbers aren't always good representations when looking at previous elections because sometimes people misremember who they voted for or they like to say they voted for the winner. Right. Back to you. Yeah, Scott. So I know there's another constitutional amendment here. This one uh, is about allowing a school board candidates to register by party. How is that effort going? Well, that hasn't got as much press, frankly, Kent, and it's not getting as much support as it needs right now, according to this poll. Only 41% it would need 60 to pass, but also 30% said they didn't know how they would vote. Kent.